Hi guys, David Deck here and today I wanted to share with you how to change these two video format files which we converted in our previous episode where I showed you how to convert your DVD disc onto your computer's hard drive. Now that that's done, on this episode I wanted to share with you how to convert it into one single AVI format file. Now the way to do this is to use a program which I call AutoGK so what we need to do is select the source of the DVD which we've burnt to the computer's hard drive and we need to select the IFO file so once we click open it will come up with a DVD the English, the, the width, everything this is the width here so we obviously we basically want it in letterbox or widescreen mode and that's the actual uh, length of the DVD itself as well so what we need to do is select the output as well so it's going to save in the same folder so I'm quite happy with that so I'll click save now what we need to do is change this from two CDs 1400 megabyte into one CD 700 megabyte go into advanced settings now you can copy these same settings if you want as well but I'll, I always make, make sure that all my videos are at these settings as well so click OK to this and then there's a secret menu as well so what you need to do is hold down control and press F9 on, on the keyboard always tick these two boxes and then press OK there will be an error message come up but that's only because one of these boxes will be unticked but it doesn't matter because the video will come out pretty good so after that click OK here's the error message and then what we do is press add job and then start now what this is doing is basically demoxing and indexing the DVD to audio and video files into one single AVI format file so this is actually going to take a little while it normally takes about 45 minutes to an hour on my computer so it may depend on your computer's specification if you've got a slightly older computer it might actually take like an hour and a half but it is worth it so as you can play these uh, movie files on say your iP iPad or your little phone or whatever you want to play it on T to be honest you can even put it on your laptop and basically watch a movie on the go if you want but yeah literally after this is all done you can delete all these other little temporary files because your video file will actually appear here with the name Wimbledon and everything but what this is going to do is analyze the source and then it will do a run of a first pass and then a second pass but after it's all done and everything you can exit out of the program because it will tell you that it's all finished but I hope you enjoyed this video guys, stay tuned for more videos to come soon, please remember to subscribe, share, comment and like, thanks for watching guys. Yeah.